My guys, this freaking loop goes for like 14 or 15 minutes. I I don't know how many of you are going to be game for this. Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lace. This is a Princess Connect video and it has been a while, my guys. Unfortunately, it feels like there haven't really been any updates to Precon recently, but you guys already know this is like my number one game. And if you guys are wondering why I sound like this a little bit different, I am still like quite sick, but... Here we are, pre-con update, gotta make a video. Alright, and so you already know the drill, it is time to go through the patch update because this is probably one of the most anticipated patches for the entire year. We're gonna go right into the content with Summer Susana. Look at that fine specimen, oh my god, like... Look at my guys, even Crunchy Roll knows what's up. Long hair, check. Side ponytail, check. Scrunchy, check. Susana, Summer, check. Oh my god, just top tier, absolute top tier. Top tier girl, that is. As for whether you should pull for her, mmm debatable. And so my guys, as you can see, Summer Susana is going to be dropping in about four days. I have all of the streams lined up for Summer Susana, for Summer Makoto, for Summer Saren, not Summer Maho because we're getting free rolls. And so my dudes, make sure you turn up to those ones. However, for today, we are going to be evaluating Summer Susana. And so my guys, the TLDR for Summer Susana is that she is a fantastic CB unit. And so for those of you who've like been around for a while, you can pretty much guess what her skill set is going to be. It, it, it's going to be damage and damage and damage. And so to kick things off, we have UB Tropical Splash. And what you'll notice is that a lot of these skills are very, very similar to base Susana. This bad boy is going to inflict massive physical damage and it is going to crit if Susana has a particular buff, which she is going to get from her skill one or skill two, this one over here. So coming back over to the Union Burst, there really isn't that much else to talk about. Like it's always going to crit as long as the skill two is up and it's going to deal a massive amount of damage. So let's head on to skill one where she inflicts small physical damage to the frontmost enemy three times. Tropical Dart, it is almost a carbon copy of base Susana. And then last of all, we have Summer Runaway, which is that buff that the Union Burst references. We need Summer Runaway to make sure that you can get the crit strike. And so what Summer Runway does is that it applies a massive physical attack buff to the user. This buff generated by the skill persists until the end of the battle and it grants a massive recover TP amount to the user as well, which is utterly insane because what this means is that you have Summer Runway on for 180 seconds. You have it on for the entire battle. Your UBs are always going to crit. So that kind of like alleviates some of the pain of having to time that UB to make sure that she crits. In addition to to that she is also getting a massive physical attack buff so if we take like 135 as our skill level which is the cap currently 136 we're going to be looking at a physical attack buff of about like 4,000 up until the end of the battle it's just permanent it's just going to sit there until the end however unfortunately she kind of does have to take some time to ramp up and that is going to be shown by the moveset pattern down here so now this is a really interesting moveset pattern because I think it's the first of its kind where the initial pattern is long than the loop pattern itself. So as you can see, we have a skill one going into an auto, into a skill one, into an auto, all the way until the end in which we finally get the skill two. And so what this means is that this skill two, Summer Runway, is not going to be applied until a little bit later on in the battle. However, after it has been applied, it is just going to be giga damage all the way through from there. And so coming back to the start of the evaluation, when I said Summer Susana is predominantly a CB character, I think you guys can see why. She just does damage and that's it. And she does a lot of it at that. And considering that the arena and PvP meta is predominantly like cleave units, uh... Uh, like, like like Summer Pekarin, you're not going to see units like Summer Susana be in there with absolutely no utility. And so then the question becomes, should you pull for Summer Susana? If you have a large stash of gemmies, then yeah, go for her if you do like her. For me, Susana is probably one of my favorite characters in Precon, and so I've been saving up a very, very long time to make sure that I can get her as well as a whole bunch of other characters. However, if we are talking from a meta point of view, there are certainly a lot of other better units, quote in quotes, than Summer Susana. So I'm talking like you gotta get the Summer Makoto, you gotta get the Summer Saren, you gotta get the Neneka, you gotta get like the Halloween Kyoka, maybe the Halloween Mimi as well, get the Christmas Christina potentially the Christmas Ilya as well. There are a lot of high priorities this year. That's that's the only reason why you wouldn't roll for this gorgeous gap. All right, and so with that being said, let's move on, move on, move on. And we have a prize gacha, which is actually pretty sick. However, something that is more sick than this prize gacha is me, like, cause I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit sick right now. Anyway, moving back to the topic, because what is more sick than me is Summer Kiaru, who will be making a return. So if you didn't pick her up last year, or if you are actually just starting the game very recently, 
she is probably one of the most fantastic pickups for this year. However, with that being said, do not sacrifice Summer Saren for Summer Kiaru, as awesome as Summer Kiaru is. Okay, so as you can see, this is our first prize gacha, and I do think that this is probably the first rate up banner that we have for split units like Summer Kiaru and Summer Pekka. So in terms of the prize gacha, what that means is that as you pull, you'll be able to get a whole bunch of different stuff, including Divine Amulets, Skip Tickets, Princess Heart Fragments, etc, etc. However, this is not like the prize gacha that a lot of you are probably thinking of where you get like a free hundred shards for pulling the Skiaru or for pulling the focus characters. However, at the end of the day, this is only a good thing. You're getting more for every single pull you do. All right, so that said, let's move down, move down, move down. We've got another three-star guaranteed premium gacha. When is this one happening? Um, From 6-1 to 6-8. And so what that means is that you actually have a chance to get the Summer Susana from the focus gacha. Uh, <laughs> if you guys didn't see my Emilia pull, it might be a good time to go have a watch than that one. Okay, so moving on, we have Summer Susana's event over here featuring Summer Misaki. I, I actually don't know if she exists yet. Summer Eo as well as Summer Susana herself. So this is actually a really, really great event because of, um, it be because it's Summer, but also because we'll be getting a fantastic welfare unit in the form of Eo Summer version. And if you guys don't know what Summer Eo does exactly, let me show you some of the loops that are coming up. This is a Kokoro 6-star, Nenika, Summer Eo, X Chica, and S Maho loop and essentially you're going to be clicking a lot for the next eight minutes it's going to essentially have the boss whichever boss they're going to UB a whole bunch and then you're going to be healing and they're going to be UBing and then the boss is going to hit you again and then we can loop again and then we can keep doing more damage like why, why is this possible I don't know but it's actually been the meta for JPCN for a very very long time and if you are insistent if you do want to do these kinds of like what? Why would he do that? It's freaking crazy how Psy Games has let this happen for so long, but it's even more crazy like for the people who actually discovered stuff like this. For me personally, I'm excited to like try my first few loops. However, I can see this getting tedious like really, really fast. And so I do have another version of that, except with Nanaka for a 14 to 15 minutes loop. I... I don't know if this is going to scare you guys away, <laughs> but I will leave these videos down in the description below if you do want to check them out. Uh, let me know in the comments if you are game enough to actually pull these off. I know I'll do it maybe once or twice and then probably get sick of it. All right, so onwards with the evaluation of Summer Eo. Let's get into it, have a look at her skills. And so first of all, she inflicts medium magic damage to all enemies, which is nice. However, the real juicer is to recover HP to all allies by a medium amount. As you saw in those timelines, she was like, she's not doing the soul healing, but she was doing a crazy amount. And then moving on to the skill one, inflicts small magic damage to all enemies within radius in the front and also recovers HP to the ally with the lowest HP percentage. We do have this pretty nice skill too, however, Love Splash, where she reduces the target's magic defense by a small amount with 37.5% scaling. So that's going to be around like maybe like 50. However, when we look at our mage teams like the Kyoka, like the Summer Kiaru, like stuff like that, the Ilias, you don't really immediately see a spot for Summer Eo herself. And so that's why I always praise the people who like come up with shit like this. It's just freaking crazy, dude. Because looking at the kits of units like Christmas Chica as well as Summer Eo, you look at this and be like, man, they're recovering HP. They're not really doing damage. Like, why would we use them? And so that is kind of the basis of her evaluation. If you're not going to be doing these loops, then Summer Eo isn't too high of a priority. I will, however, come down and show you the attack pattern. It's just like a little bit of damage, a little bit of heals, a little bit of M defense down. However, again, the true utility is in stuff like this. So if you don't really want to do this, you could consider just farming just enough for her. And so in terms of how far you should farm for Summer Eo, because remember, we are getting Summer Eo as the welfare unit, so you can farm for her shards. Similar to how I stole these two videos from my guild leader, I'm also stealing his advice. And that advice is to be able to four star Summer Eo eventually. However, you should be leaving her at three stars until the time comes. If you can't make it to four stars or the amount of shards to four star, you can obviously DA it. So I would recommend probably refreshing three to six times to get to a reasonable amount. Maybe you'll get four star, maybe you won't. But yeah, that's the evaluation, especially from a CB perspective. As for Arena, yeah, I freaking doubt it, dude. I mean, you could stall, I guess. You could stall with her for some of this healing but I think the majority of you know by now like the store meta is pretty much dead especially with the introduction of Muimi over here all right so that is summer Eeyore I mean look at her she's freaking fantastic like who wouldn't want to farm 
to four star for this gorgeous teacher. That said, let's move on to event quest player times 1.5, which is quite nice, especially for you newer players. If you are coming for the summer, the quest EXP for the player EXP, like player level is quite important. Your character's max levels and all of that is dependent on your player EXP. So yeah, get on it. And then as for the memory shards that are coming alongside the summer EOS, we are also getting Misaki shards, which is really fantastic because Misaki UE is really, really freaking busted in arena right now. However, if you're not really an arena player, I guess you can just save it and use it to five star collection but with that that is going to bring us to the end of the event which is going to introduce us the new unique equipment for maho base suzuna tsumugi and x chica this is uh this is gonna be a really annoying time i see you tsumugi I freaking see you. What is interesting here is that I actually don't see the summer units getting their UEs. Some people predicted that they'd be lumping them all together. So I'm talking about like your summer Kiaru, your summer Tamaki, and your summer Pekarin, and who was last summer Suzume. But my guys, I do expect last year's summer units to get their UEs quite promptly after these four. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to move on and we have a new furniture available. Ooh, this is nice. It's like a flowery pattern. I do dig that but i'm gonna move on we've got a grotto quest times two we've got the sanctum survey which is very very nice but i do think that the ue grind is going to slow a little so we might not have to like go crazy on these sanctum survey refreshes anymore and so with that i think that brings us to the end of the content for today i i hope you guys enjoyed that it's been a while since i've made a pre-con video and i gotta say i miss doing this and if you guys are still sticking around well Thank you guys so much, but you already know what time it is. It's time for the secret question. Are you guys going to be pulling for the summer Susna? I mean, she is so freaking fine, but I, I can't recommend her from a meta point of view. There are just way too many substitutes. And on the other hand, did these loops kind of freak you out about the summer Eeyore and the X-Chica and the Nanakas or whatever? Are you guys willing to actually put in the work to do these? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you do end up dropping one, thank you guys so much. If you did enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, or turning on that notification bell. But otherwise, my guys, as Summer Susana once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.